Godfrey of Bouillon, a medieval French nobleman and leader of the First Crusade, was the first ruler of the Kingdom of Jerusalem from 1099 to 1100. He preferred the title of Prince and Advocatus Sancti Sepulchri, or Advocate of the Holy Sepulchre. Godfrey was the second son of Eustace II, Count of Boulogne, and was confirmed as Duke of Lower Lorraine in 1087. He participated in the First Crusade in 1096 and played a key role in the capture of Jerusalem in 1099. When Raymond IV of Toulouse declined to rule the new kingdom, Godfrey accepted the role and secured his kingdom by defeating the Fatimids at Ascalon. He died in July 1100, and his brother Baldwin succeeded him as King of Jerusalem. Godfrey of Bouillon, born around 1060, was the second son of Eustace II, Count of Boulogne, and Ida, daughter of Lotharingian Duke Godfrey the Bearded. He was named as his heir and next in line to his Duchy of Lower Lorraine, which was crucial to the Holy Roman Empire. In 1076, Henry IV placed Lower Lorraine in the hands of his son, Godfrey of Bouillon, as a test of his loyalty. Godfrey supported Henry during the investiture controversy and fought alongside him against Rudolf of Swabia and in Italy when Henry captured Rome. Godfrey's leadership skills were tested in his battles to defend his inheritance against various enemies. In 1076, he succeeded as designated heir to the Lotharingian lands of his uncle, Godfrey the Hunchback. He faced claims from his aunt, Margravine Matilda of Tuscany, cousin Count Albert III of Namur, Count Theodric of Velu, Bishop Theodric of Verdun, and two minor counts attempting to share in the spoils. Godfrey's brothers, Eustace and Baldwin, came to his aid as these enemies tried to take away portions of his land. Despite these long struggles and proving his loyalty to Henry IV, Godfrey finally gained Lower Lorraine in 1087. First Crusade, in 1095, Pope Urban II called for military action to liberate Jerusalem and aid the Byzantine Empire, which had lost territory to the Seljuk Empire. Godfrey sold or mortgaged most of his estates to bishops of Liege and Verdun, using the money to recruit an army of crusaders. He was joined by his brothers Eustace and Baldwin, Raymond IV, Count of Toulouse, Raymond IV, Adamar of Lapuy, Bohemond of Taranto, and Robert II, Count of Flanders. The crusader nobles were expected to lead the expedition, with significant forces accompanied by Norman knight Bohemond of Taranto and Italian knight Robert II. In 1096, Pope Urban II led the People's Crusade, an army of 20,000 low-ranking knights and peasants, to Constantinople to seek assistance from Emperor Alexios I Komnenos. This led to a wave of violence against Jews across Europe, beginning with Rouen in December 1095. The Crusade plundered and massacred Jewish communities during the Rhineland massacres. After being notified of this threat by the Jewish leader in Mainz, Emperor Henry allegedly prohibited Godfrey from carrying out the crusade. After the People's Crusade entered Hungary in June, a series of incidents culminated in a full-scale battle with their hosts and the deaths of over 10,000 crusaders. Godfrey and his troops approached the border in September, but it took several days of negotiations before they were allowed in. He finally reached Constantinople in November, shortly after those led by Hugh of Vermandois. By May 1097, Alexios found himself with over 4,000 to 8,000 mounted knights and 25,000 to 55,000 infantry camped on his doorstep. The two sides had different goals. Alexios wanted help in retaking Byzantine lands lost to the Seljuk Turks, while the Crusaders sought to liberate the Holy Land from the Muslims. When Alexios demanded an oath of loyalty, Godfrey and most of the Crusaders agreed a modified version in which they promised to restore some lands to the Emperor, with Raymond of Toulouse being a notable exception. Capture of Nicaea and Antioch, in February 1097, Godfrey and his army crossed the Bosporus Straits with Bohemond, Robert of Flanders, and Hugh of Vermandois. They invested Nicaea, a city near Constantinople captured by the Turks in 1085. The Crusaders, led by Bohemond, noticed the Byzantine flag flying from the top of the walls. To minimize damage and avoid a heavy ransom demand, Alexios made a separate peace with the Turkish garrison. This marked a mutual suspicion between the two sides. Godfrey played a significant role in the Crusaders' battles against the Seljuks until they reached Jerusalem in 1099. He helped relieve the vanguard at Dorylium in July 1097 and sacked their camp. 
After the battle, Godfrey was attacked by a bear and received a serious wound, incapacitating him for a time. He also participated in the Siege of Antioch in October 1097, which lasted until June 1098. During the winter, the crusading army faced starvation, and Alexios failed to provide supplies. When the city fell, Bohemond claimed it for himself and refused to hand it over to the emperor, citing the emperor's failure to help the crusaders. After repulsing a Muslim force from Mosul led by Kerbaga, Antioch was secured. March on Jerusalem After the victory on Jerusalem, the crusaders were divided over their next course of action. Bohemond and Godfrey's younger brother, Baldwin, stayed in the north in the crusader state he had established at Edessa. Most foot soldiers wanted to continue south to Jerusalem, but Raymond IV of Toulouse, the most powerful prince, hesitated to continue the march. After months of waiting, Raymond forced Raymond to march on to Jerusalem, and Godfrey joined him. As they traveled south into Palestine, they faced a new enemy, the Fatimids, North African Muslims who had taken Jerusalem in August 1098. The Crusaders would be battling them for the final prize of the First Crusade in the Siege of Jerusalem. Kingdom of Jerusalem In 1099, after the city was returned to Christian rule, Godfrey agreed to become ruler after Raymond of Toulouse refused the crown. He preferred the title of Advocate of the Holy Sepulchre over King, and the meaning and usage of his title are disputed. During his short reign, Godfrey had to defend the new kingdom against the Fatimids of Egypt, who were defeated at the Battle of Ascalon. He also faced opposition from Dagobert of Pisa, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, who was allied with Tancred. Despite the Latins' attempts to capture Ascalon, Godfrey's attempts to prevent Raymond of St. Giles from securing the city for himself meant the town remained in Muslim hands, destined to be a thorn in the new kingdom's side for years to come. In 1100, Godfrey was unable to directly expand his new territories through conquest. However, his impressive victory in 1099 and campaigning in 1100 allowed him to force Acre, Ascalon, Arsif, Jaffa, and Caesarea to become tributaries. The struggle with Dagobert continued, with some writers suggesting that both Dagobert and his ally Tancred had sworn an oath to Godfrey to accept only one of his brothers or blood relations as his successor. Regardless of Dagobert's schemes, they were destined to come to naught. Godfrey's supporters, led by Warner of Grez, seized Jerusalem and demanded that Godfrey's brother Baldwin should succeed to the rule. Dagobert was subsequently forced to crown Baldwin as the first Latin king of Jerusalem on 25 December 1100. Death In 1099, Godfrey, lord of Jerusalem, attempted an assault on the port of Acre but was killed by an arrow. Christian chronicles, such as Albert of X and Eckhart of Ora, suggest he fell ill in June 1100 and died in Jerusalem on July 18. It is unlikely that Godfrey was poisoned, but it is more likely he died from a disease similar to typhoid. He never married. Legacy William of Tyre, a later 12th century chronicler of the Kingdom of Jerusalem, described Godfrey as a tall, strong man with solidly built limbs and a stalwart chest. He was the first ruler of the Kingdom of Jerusalem and one who participated in its capture. Godfrey was idealized as the military leader of the Crusade and a legislator who established the Assizes of Jerusalem. He was selected as one of the Nine Worthies, a pantheon of famous warriors believed to epitomize chivalric ideals. However, Godfrey was only one of several leaders of the Crusade, including Raymond IV of Toulouse, Bohemond of Taranto, Robert of Flanders, Stephen of Blois, Baldwin of Boulogne, and papal legate Adamar of Montiel, Bishop of Le Puy. Baldwin I of Jerusalem, Godfrey's younger brother, became the first titled king when he succeeded him in 1100. Godfrey's role in the crusade was described by various authors, including Raymond of Aguilers and Albert of X. In fiction, he was the hero of the Crusade Cycle, a collection of French chansons de geste dealing with the First Crusade. By William of Tyre's time, Godfrey was already a legend among the descendants of the original crusaders. He was believed to have immense physical strength, as he was said to have wrestled a bear and beheaded a camel with one blow of his sword. An equestrian statue of Godfrey of Bouillon stands in Brussels, Belgium, since the mid-19th century. He is a key figure in pseudo-historical theories in the books The Holy Blood and the Holy Grail and the Da Vinci Code. In 2005, 
Godfrey came in 17th place in the French language Le Plus Grand Belgi, a public vote of national heroes in Belgium, but did not make the 100 Greatest Belgians, as voted by Dutch speakers in De Groot's Belg.